the Hebrews, we're going to Hebrews chapter 10. Amen. Amen. And the reason for 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, and both and joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. That means it's cutting deep. See, that's why I say until some things are cut out of the heart. See, that's why some people can't grow in progress is because they desire progress, but on the inner part, they still want to stay where they are. They kind of remind you of the children of Israel. The, 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 the children of Israel, when they when they have got out of the land of Egypt, now they're going through the wilderness, and they, now they're talking about can God provide a table in the wilderness, or, or can God do this, or, or can God feed us? And He rained a manna, and then can God? We thirst at one point. Now you want to now God has allowed water to come out of a rock, but then they start talking. About it was it was better for us to stay back in Egypt. And sometimes as you're trying to bring somebody. Yes, they're talking one thing out of their mouth, but in their heart, they still in San Francisco. So until the thing is killed at heart, then nothing change will never come forth. Amen. That's why some people they'll come to church, they'll do good for four months, and just to get something from you. So that they'll look good and they'll look like the word is being effective. Oh, come on, somebody. The devil do come to church because we gotta use somebody. Amen. Amen. And they'll be faithful. So they'll be winning your heart. Yes. You say, look at them, they're in church, and they clap their hands, and they got their Bible open, but you don't see them texting on the side, too, on, on their smartphones and their cell phones, and, and sit up in church with their Bluetooth phone, like they so important and dignified that they need their Bluetooth, like they're going to get a call straight from heaven. The devil is a lie. The church almost been turned into a technology center. Well, we need to start going back and shutting off cell phones and saying, Three or four cell phones on, so the phone rang all through the service. And now you tiptoeing outside. While you tiptoeing outside, the, the word that's coming out of the preacher's mouth might be the word that you need to hear. So while you outside like this, you missing what you need to be eating on. And then some people wait till you get home to say what the preacher preached on, and they they just as healthy as they want to be. They can come to church and walk to church and get to church just like you got to church. Now they want to sit there and steal all the food out of your plate and stop take all the food out of your mouth. No, when the preacher is cooking and when the food is on the table, get your own plate. Yeah. It was 200 pieces of chicken on the table. You should have been there to get two pieces. Now you're going to sit here and eat up what I'm full on. Right, right. It's almost like people like in the old days, they used to sock the gas out of the car. Now somebody, you all fueled up and you're power and you ready for the week and now you want to get home and sock all your fuel out. Now you got to open your Bible up on Tuesday. You would have been all right to Thursday, but now you got to open it up on Tuesday and Wednesday because all the gas you had on the inside of you, you can let somebody sock it out of you. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get your own. All right. You got to get your own gas. You got to get your own food. That's why I tell people, I ain't, I ain't got no food on my plate for the both of us. My plate, my plate is full. So if you want your plate of food, you better bring your plate like I brought mine to church. The Bible says God's word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Let's go to 10. Same so chapter book, Hebrews, chapter 10. Verses 22. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts, what? Sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure hands. See, we got to have our bodies sprinkled from evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure hands. Pure water. That's what the Bible say in the Beatitudes: "Blessed are the pure heart, for they shall see God." Amen. There's so many people live now at 
heart so wickedly, they almost, they almost believe God. They, they almost believe they're not going to be punished. Yes. There's so much people commit so much wickedry yes. at heart, they almost believe they're not going to be Come chastised. On. Come on, somebody. Yes. So many people are just working against the church, and they're yes. working against this, and they're Come working against that. And the slogan of, of the of the uh, demonic world is, the, uh, the, when the church ends, the world begins. That's their slogan. Come on, somebody. The enemy is working hard at the church. He's trying to tear up the Bible and he's trying to tear you down. The Bible says Satan is an accuser of the saints daily. He's going back to God saying this, thus, and so, and this and that about you. Look what Bill said was thinking last night. Yeah, he may have been thinking that last night, but thanks be unto God. He served a God that he can get on his knees and pray and get a breakthrough. It's good to get a breakthrough. It's not good just to sound holy. See, some people are just good at sounding good. See, I don't, I don't never want to just sound good. I want to be good. I, I, want, I want the attributes of what good that to come with it. You know, I, I, I don't just want to just walk around and talk blessed. I want to feel the presence of being blessed. Whether I'm blessed financially, blessed physically, mentally, or just around a bunch of blessed folks, because I believe. I don't some of that will rub off on me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God wants inward commitment and not just an outward observance. Mm -hmm. See, he wants yeah. that. If you're committed to God and your heart is in tune and with Christ, coming to church will be an issue. Yes. All right. It will be. Yes. Well, conditions will prevent, prevent the real bona fide yeah. saints of God. See, see, right. some people are prevented by rain. Yes, uh -huh. come on. Some people are prevented by because my name went on the program. So, so I ain't coming to the afternoon service. All oh, they're going to be doing the same about three songs anyway. And you know, real boom, boom. He's going to rap back about two times. And he's going to preach a little bit, sweat a little bit. And then they're going to serve potato salad and greens and cow, cornbread and all that in the room. And, and that's how they do church. Yes. Because their heart is not in it. But when your heart is in it, I don't care Rev Boom Boom preaching or, or, or Bobo preaching, whoever preaching, all you believe is I want to get in the presence of God with God's people. Because your heart is into it. See, until people start dealing with the matters of the real issue, the issues are in their heart. It's not in, in, in putting medicine in. See, you can, you can medicate a demon all day long. You can get medicine and treatments and he'll do just enough to graduate the program to go right back out there on the street and buy some new crack cocaine and get back into being a push truck. So it, it don't take nothing for them to pass programs. Come on, yes. All right. Come on somebody. Some of us don't pass some programs. We done did real good just to graduate right out of the program, whether it was a treatment program or a get over program or a psychological program, and we did just enough. We hold it out, certificate up, take with the cap and gown on, they can't wait to get back riding up to somebody's wife. Come on, somebody. Preach. Amen. And the world is trying to medicate spiritual matters yeah. with medicine. Hallelujah. Give them more pills and give them more pills. Now everything is pills. It's like the pills are what you take for the condition, the side effects is worse than the condition. You got a backache and it didn't take you. You may have nauseated and sweating of the feet and swollen gum and, and suicidal thoughts. Why would you want to take something that's going to be talking to you about killing yourself? The devil is a lie. So I, 